a hidden treasure in Bangkok that tells the story of a time gone by. A green oasis, tucked away in busy Charing Kung Road, just up the road from the Sapan Taksin Pier. The Bangkokia Museum is a rare find, a wonderful slice of social history, a middle-class family home in the city in the 1930s and beyond, caught in time. The wooden house has all the beauty of a Thai home. Wonderfully preserved, you can almost feel the family sat singing round the piano, where the family's grandmother would often play. While the ancient Thai artifacts are beautiful, it is the more modern yet dated items that stand out, such as the gramophone and the television. Plus the western influences, the wooden walls created to look like concrete, the European design dining table, the grandfather clock, and the distinctly non-Thai conveniences. With a whole building packed with everyday Thai items from yesteryear, the Bangkokia Museum is a gentle yet beguiling glimpse of life before traffic, shopping malls and high-rise condos. This place is very nice and peaceful, very peaceful here. Huh. The flames are, uh, can show the Thailand culture. Uh, definitely, it's really, it's really great because you can see how they lived. And okay. It's all wooden, They're all the items and even the bathroom. Okay. I, I like this, this, this is green surrounding and uh, trees around. Uh, there's everything is uh, sinking in, uh, in the trees. So it makes really good ambience. Even more fascinating is the story behind the museum. The house was donated to the city by the previous owner's daughter, Archan Warapan Surawadi, who still lives in the grounds, a truly wonderful gesture of philanthropy. We moved here when I was about two years. And I even have, uh, you know, at that time we don't have all three, a big tree like this. And I have to take a shower for the tree, and I grow up growing a tree here. Actually, actually, if it what I want, since I was a biologist and some sort of ecologist, I like to have tree, and that was the reason that I want. Actually, I would like to keep tree, but you have to keep the house also, so that people are not going to say that you are insane, you know, just keep the tree. <laughs> so I guess, so I, I keep the house accompanied with the tree. And so that's why I make the tree all green all the time. And always make me upset if somebody say that, don't, don't water the, the tree. <laughs> that's very bad. Mm. Arjan remembers playing on the outdoor terrace as a child that we use the life mostly all the same. We have a, we eat here and then always yes. Where today she enjoys a relaxed life with her beloved pets, sharing her family's story, one that could so easily be lost in the momentum of a modern metropolis. Mm -hmm.